Uh, uh, I'm not sure I've quite fully recovered, but at least you enjoyed your Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You're not scared of Chinese food. I'm not scared of ordering it. I don't know what it's going to come like. Chinese food, Bosley. Shall we kick straight in? Why not? <laughs> Welcome to Beer and Breakfast, your match day preview show. I'm Johnny. I'm Jono. And we are tired. We are cold. We had a lovely night in Burnley. Oh. It was a bloody good day. A great good day. Until the kickoff. Yeah. We had a few good days, haven't we? Meeting Spanish Blades, German Blades, Argentine yes, Blades. Yes, now. Introduction now is hola. Hello. Guten Tag. Morning. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I don't know if that's hello. Yes. It's yes. I need you uh, uh, right, okay. I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. Let's sure have a look what we've got coming up this week. Let's go for it. We look back at Burnley. We'll be getting all the Blades fans' views. A look at the other side. Are we the kings of self-sabotage? This or that? And of course we'll have our match predictions. Of course, you'll have watched the Burnley vlog by now. Wasn't a very long set of match highlights. But the day was good. The day was the good. The day Our was little, good. Our uh, boozer was more than hospitable. Fantastic, as you will have yes. seen. I think even the locals loved it, didn't they? I think they're still building statues of us. We had a quiz. We had a quiz. Uh, we got played cards right. We got cheated out of quiz. Yeah, we did, didn't we? I'm freaking Michael. God damn it. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> If you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button, it really does help us. You know what else helps us? Getting down in the comments, that is what you think. Getting involved in the conversations we have in the video and pressing that little like button. Over 35% of you are watching but not subscribing. Jono, get them. You made me sick. How much does it cost, Jono? Absolutely nothing. You've been told. You've been told there's no subscription fee. Don't cost it a penny. Just, all you gotta do is just press subscribe. Has anybody seen Chef Chef for? Okay, burn the review. I'll make this short and simple. Uh, for 15 minutes we looked alright and then the man got sent off and nothing happened. Yeah, a minute of craziness, <laughs> weren't it? Yeah. Lack of communication from Robinson and Wes. Whether Wes shouted it, I don't know. Shouldn't have been shouted it anyway. Jack Robinson should just either yeah. pass it back to him or put it out. Use initiative, get it out. I'll pass it to, I'll pass it to, keep, later. Pass it to keep her up or it out, one yeah. or two. Yeah, it was calamity. And it, it's cost us game because yeah. I, I, I fancied it. I know you did. You kept saying these are never going to score. Oh, we're right up until... They scored two. Until mid-second half. <laughs> You were all thinking I were going to be right though at one point, surely? No, not once. But it, even goal that this goal was from a little mistake as well. He's window washer. Uh, window washer. Window washer. Adam Davis, like a vampire, don't like crosses. <laughs> um, no, it's it's an hard one to take because I don't think they were that good. They're like we like I said before, they make it look easy what they do because they're well drilled. They've got yep. a good mentality, and they play their way. The way they play incidentally suits us, as we saw five two. Now 5-4 in aggregate, by the way. Uh, but we're still playing, isn't it? Yeah. And we were down to 10 men. But that suits us. But it, other teams do what we did at 10 men. Stand yeah. off, let them show. That's what other teams do to them with 11 men. They're a very good team. They deserve to go up. They look well for it. And I'm not going to try and take away and say anything like they're a shit team and they don't deserve to. Of course they do. Look at the points total. They deserve it all day. I just think they're very beatable from what we can do. As we've shown. Yeah, they're going to have to step up a hell of a lot to make it into Premier League. It's all weird. But yeah, obviously, I'd, I'd fear it was in the Premier League, to yeah, be fair. 100%. But it's very frustrating because I thought that first 15 minutes, both sets of fans, they were, well, they were a tiny bit noisy for 15 minutes and then we were. We were getting back and forth. I, bit thought, of I thought the crowd were very good at our end. Uh, bit except of, yeah. they'd, they'd just been promoted. Yeah. They were rather quiet until yeah. probably the last 10 minutes of the game. Yeah. It was a nice, tasty game. And then after 15 minutes, it stopped being a contest and that's what just that's where we ended. Yeah. It sounds a bit weird, like, because Burnley probably... For us to get a man sent off, they, they'd have rather play us with 11 men just to see up against yeah. us. I, I don't know, I think they might have just been a bit disappointed not to they see weren't. a proper no, they even game. They were disappointed because we've been living rent-free in Company's head for <laughs> a full season. He, he classes that as revenge. If that's what you class as revenge, Vincent, fair play, do one, jog on. You, yep. We don't care. See you next season. 5-4 on aggregate. Uh, 
kind of linked in with this. We are the king of self-sabotage in my view, I don't know if you agree. Playing Baldock on the left, Vogel on the right, sticking Norwood in against a Burnley team where the game doesn't suit him. We are, we are sabotaging our own successes at times. And then of course you get Robinson and Wes having a double brain fart. It, it, just little things and I know we're missing low he's out that's fine put Bogle on the left for God's yeah. sake it's, because he's done no on the right no. and well, to move Baldock who's been absolutely he was playing, out, he was playing out of his skin on right hand side yeah and I, I just can't understand why, why would you sacrifice Baldock for Bogle no woods I'd rather him just put him on the left like you said the, the, when, Norwood, the, the, when Norwood plays well we play well argument is kind of drifting now because he's not playing well very often he has moments of brilliance and it, it, it's, Bogle's crossing were awful Bogle's crossing is always awful. Oh, I like I like Bogle the worst I've seen. I like Bogle at middle more than I like him out wide. If I'm honest with you, um, but yeah, I think with the Kings of self sabotage. What do you reckon? Yeah, you've got a few. I've got a point about that. So like, obviously you're not going to make mistakes. Yeah, there's no you can do about it. But it's just too many in there. Yeah, 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 just too many. Especially where we are now. Our own worst enemy. Are we going to cost ourselves promotion? No. No. I'm pretty confident we're, we're all right now. I just think, look at his own games, and they're, they're all winnable. We do that, we're up. We haven't got an away game now till Huddersfield, 4th of May. I think we could quite possibly sabotage our season. Oh, well, I think we'll start panicking if we don't win on yeah. Saturday. Yeah, but, yeah. but we're going to win Saturday. We're playing Cardiff. The crap. They've just won. Who against? Blackpool. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go around, fans. So, move on to Cardiff. I have to forget Burnley. The disaster of it were. We started well, but stupid mistakes. And both goals were bad goals and all could have been prevented. But, very winnable game, Cardiff. Probably one of the poorest teams in the league. So, let's hope we can do as business. And uh, this is a big one. These, these are important games, these next two. So if we can uh, get us points from them, then we should be in a very strong position. Don't say no for granted, though, we're United. We are United, let's face it. Uh, just got a good team that's picked. We can't do it about it. Davis will be in there. Robinson's been in good form. I don't believe in uh, holding him responsible. I still think Keeper comes out here and clears a lot. So let's see what happens. I'd like to see McAtee back in midfield because he's energy and he gets forward. We need players that can get forward. And let's attack game and let's get a win. So going in to this Cardiff game on paper, a bit like against Wigan, we should be making it easy work. We didn't make it easy work against Wigan, did we? <sighs> we didn't make it easy. And it'd have been nice to score a few more can goals. Can I point out, I don't, I don't have my e-cig with me. I don't know where to put my hands or what to do. I feel really vulnerable right now. <laughs> Keep going, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would have been nice to get a few more goals just to help us as goal difference as well yeah. uh, but we never really looked like they were going to score no, no not for me and I think this is going to be a similar match we're going to win not very nice not very sparkling but we're going to win just look at their top scorer Callum one of Robin our rejects Callum Robinson with five goals nice. that's their highest goal scorer whatever happened to him he got I think Enel scored more than him he got an ego bigger than his station after Preston, <sighs> it, it, the Jesse Lingard of the Championship. You, you've got to remember who we swapped him for. Mm. Oli Burke. Yeah, true. I'd sooner rather have Callum Robinson in team than Oli Burke's Oli in the Burke. playoffs playing well for Millwall. I have nothing else to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Callum Robinson is the Jesse Lingard of the Championship. Mm, yeah, I can see where you're coming from on that. Um, they've got oh, they've got Connor Wickham, haven't they? Hex Piggy is bound to score. No, they're not going to score. <laughs> but it all depends. We need Lowe back. We need Ender back as a backup when Lowe's not there. Yeah, Lowe was apparently just ill. Yeah, apparently so. Mm. You don't know. It could be a back on the grass. He probably broke his spine. Back on grass. Uh, we might never see him kick a ball again. Back on grass. I don't know. I'm getting frustrated and I shouldn't be because it's still in his own hands and we, still, we should still yeah, be positive. I, mean, I told you, Monday night were a free hit for us. It, the outcome of that match really is not going to have an impact on us. Yeah, but if we'd have gone out there and played, I know we've got the 10 men, and you had, but I wasn't happy with the lineup. I knew it weren't going to be a good day after that. I did say, though, uh, playing Norwood wouldn't have been the worst thing. No. I don't think Norwood would have slowed the game down, which wouldn't suit Burnley. Play Quidabali. 
because we can't play either two midfielders against Man City. So give Koudibaly some goddamn yeah, yeah, game time. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Give him some goddamn game time. How is Koudibaly not getting game time? Give Brooks some game time. One yeah. or two. Both. Put them both in against Cardiff. No, we don't fight neither. We are going up. Yeah, we can't uh, be playing. Rate, we, and we, these are not going to be playing for us next season. We can't be playing no wooden flick for Man City. We're going to have no choice. Because he's not going to play Cooler Barley. Cooler Barley and Brooks. Play them both. Can't. Did it against Spurs? Fuck it. No, match bleeding fitness. Good. Play him. Play him. Play him. <laughs> and then when they get drumming 6 0, no, what's, what's going to do for their bleeding Same as moral? It, same as they do for Ollie Norwood and Fleck. Yeah, but. I love Fleck and I love Norwood. I love them. And this is not a personal thing. I adore them. I would happily, happily, happily include them in my list. In the, not in the first starting yeah. 11, in the all time best squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely legends of uh, Sheffield United, but unfortunately, the time at the moment. Injuries, how looking. injuries, age, the way we're playing, it's not suiting them at the moment. Yeah, mate, I'm not going to say that about Noel, because I, I'd still have Noel. I'm happy to see him inside at any time. Well, you, you might disagree, a few might disagree, but Noel would still, for me, is. A brilliant player, and he's when he's on form, he's he makes sec- Sheffield United. His second touch or a tackle yesterday. It was, I did say that. Uh, very good. No, I don't mind him being in the squad. It, it, it hurts me actually because I don't like it when players I like are playing bad. It hurts me to say what I'm saying because I feel like a loyalty towards them has been kind of like you know, like when your best friend does something you can't defend. Yeah, yeah. And you feel like oh, I can't defend that, and it hurts you to say something negative, doesn't it? And that's how I feel in regards to this no one thing. It does kill me inside saying it, but it, it, play play the kids against Cardiff. Do it, do it. Speaking yeah. of playing kids, I've I've got a bit of a question for you, if I'm honest. Ooh, questions. What does that, that mean? What does that mean on this channel? A game of this or that. This is This or That, the world's favourite game show. The best game show in the world, as you can see, because so many people are copying it, bastards. Um, Jono, I'm going to make it quick this week, because we're trying to do a quick show this week. We're trying to breeze through it, aren't we? Breeze through it. Breeze through it. Davis didn't look very well when he came on, did he? Dracula. Uh, well, that's what happens when you don't play much football. Good shot stopper. Not very confident on um, anything else. No, flaps a bit, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, Chris Woods-esque. Mm. Against Cardiff... Is it time to play a young'un? Is it time to get you worse to go? For a one-off? Oof. I'll let you go first. Jono, should Jewist make his Sheffield United first team debut against Cardiff City? No. Ooh. No. No. Right, is this? Because at this stage of the season, if he drops a howler and it costs us three points, that is a lot a lot of pressure to put on a young lad's shoulders. If we're already promoted, yes, definitely, I would go for it, but to put pressure on him like that, Davis is not that bad. Don't forget, he got us into FA Cup semi-final. He's a good shot stopper. He is a good shot stopper, all right. Crossing the ball is a bit scary, but... Yep. And what what are Cardiff going to do with lumps up front and then out wide? (laughs) Stop the crosses. (laughs) Stop the crosses. For me, no, you can't play young winners this stage of the season. Fair point. Johnny, should you worth play? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're never in agreement lately, are we? No. Cardiff, yeah, if it were, if it were, if it weren't Cardiff, let's just put it that way. If it weren't Cardiff, I'd say no, you've got to give Davis for the experience, Vatch, and just hope for the best in this one game. It's a one off game, it's Cardiff. Game is chance. It's not a one off game, no. West is banned for two. I thought it were one. Nope, it's the second red card. Well, Davis can play another one. So you're back to square one, really, though, aren't you? No, but against this one, game is get. I'd like youngsters to make debuts and get some game time. This is the one to do it. Bristol City's next home game. Yeah, I don't want that one. No. No, they, they, he, they yeah, there'll be a lot of shots on goal. Yeah, to be honest with you, Bristol City's a bigger team, so there's going to be a lot of crosses coming in the, from the box. They are, but they, <laughs> they also put a lot of shots on goal, and I don't question Davis's shot stopping. Yeah, uh, he's a good shot stopper. I think the Jewers will have a quieter game against Cardiff than he would against Bristol City, and that's why I said this is the perfect one to do it. In. Yeah, the leading scorer has got five goals. Let's put it that way. This is the game to give him his, his chance when he gets an hat trick. <laughs> Next, let's go to the Cardiff fan. <laughs> 
So you might be thinking, bloody hell, he looks rough. Um, the tiredness, the sick on the shoulder. You'd be thinking, well, it's, it's the look of a new dad, isn't it? But nope, it's the morning after the Burnley game and I've just been up all night being sick on myself at the thought of what Robinson and uh, Fodderington, to quote Dead Bat, uh, got up to last night. Um, not the best performance, was it, that we were looking for? You know, you, you need to give yourself every chance in those games and we didn't, did we? So... We're now not giving ourselves much of a chance in the next is it one game, two games. I don't think anyone knows how long is is Wes is banned for now. Um, but Dave has never inspires me with confidence, so we, we're going to go into um, a match against um, his Welsh friends from Cardiff. Although there's probably not many Wales players in their team. Um, yeah, uh, playing Cardiff, it's at home, admittedly, but it doesn't fill me with confidence in being in there, to be honest. Did all right last night, I suppose. Didn't do too much wrong. Weren't terrible, but weren't great either. Were he and yeah, he, I would have said it was a comfortable win there. Cardiff aren't doing very well at the minute. Um, Robinson's injured, I think, so you can't even have the former player comes back to score against you. Think, um, yeah, I, I, I'd have had a comfortable win as it is now. Is that a seed of doubt creeping in there? There shouldn't be. We're still five points clear, game in hand. It's totally in our hands. We to be an almighty cock up to, to cock it up. But you know what we're like. Um, I still think we'll have enough. We'll still be able to pick a strong team. Um, just protect that goalkeeper. Don't make any more cock ups. I think we'll win 2 1. So that was the, uh, the Cardiff fan. <laughs> <laughs> and the Blades fans that followed straight up afterwards. Final thoughts. As I said, it's a quick show this week. Jono, how important is this game? It is a must win, actually. Just to bounce back from a defeat. Yes. Uh, confidence. Get that out there. If we do win, whoever's it now as well, we'll have a lot of confidence. Yeah. We'll give it a clean sheet, which you'd think we would do against Cardiff. You'd think. Uh, our defence has been solid. All right, we're winning games by one single goal, but it's just the defence that looks good. Mm. I personally think that this is the time not to tinker, not to experiment and change the whole squad round. This is the time where you give some players that you think are possibly on the cusp a go. And then if that's not working at half time, bring back your regulars and go for it. Because we need to get some confidence for a lot of players because we've got old players, we've got players running out on legs. Look what happens when you've got to put emergency players in. So this is the game. We've got to go out there and we've got to fuck a team up using the whole squad, not just the regulars, if that yeah. makes sense. Uh, give me a bold score prediction, Jono. Uh, I'm going for 2 0 Blades. 2 0 Blades. I'm going to go for a 2 1 win for Sheffield United. You're going for a United I'm going win. For a 2 1 win for Sheffield United. Let's not discuss it. It's happening. Accept Jesus. it. Jesus. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Please like. Let us know your score predictions down below. Jono's still gobsmacked. <laughs> Just... Roll back the footage. The last time you said United was going to win, please. It was 1942. <laughs> I've been Johnny. I've been Johnny. Come on, you Johnny. fucking red <laughs>